Hello friends, welcome again. In this video, I will give a walkthrough about REST API uh, code base in the WordPress core uh, core files. Okay, so in the previous video, uh, we have I have talked about uh, basics of REST API and the uses of the REST API. And in this video, I will uh, I will walk give a walkthrough about the REST API code base available in the WordPress core. Okay, so that we can have more uh, in depth information about the REST API okay so here uh, i have opened this rest api.php file which is available in wp includes folder so here in this file we have all the rest api functions available okay and you can see there is adsense 4.4.1 version so in the 4.4 wordpress version rest api have been introduced in the wordpress okay so in this file you can see the constant rest api version so this constant used uh, in the namespace as well so in the here if we go with the wp slash v2 uh, post so uh, here v2 we wp slash v2 is the namespace and post is the route so here v2 uh, version have been used okay and having this versions will be very helpful so for example let's say uh, if you want to change the response or the structure of the REST API request response uh, and if you change it then it will definitely like will be break the the in the front end from wherever um, that REST API request have been called because if you're changing the key value pairs or any any other response uh, then it may uh, it may break the uh, front end uh, implementation part right or wherever the REST API request has been used so uh, instead of uh, modifying the existing uh, rest api request you can you can create a new route with the different versioning and that versioning keep you can you can keep it under a namespace so that all the old request will con will work con continuously and uh, and later on in the front end uh, the developers can update to the new version of the rest api request right so this way we can avoid any breaking changes too so here is the rest api version which is the currently 2.0 okay um then this is the function register rest out so this function we uh we can use to register a custom route okay so in the upcoming videos we will see how this register rest out function have been used okay and they have mentioned to do not use before the rest api init hook so uh, we will use this rest api init action to register uh, to uh, to uh, hook our callback function to this action and in that callback function we will register our custom endpoint okay so that uh, that functions only will be executed whenever the rest api request uh, 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 executing okay so that uh, our callback functions won't be executed for the normal wordpress request like either wordpress admin or the front end okay um then uh, so that's all about the rest register rest route there are multiple functions there is a register race field so this field uh, register a custom field a new field to an existing WordPress object type. Object type means our content type like post, uh, media, terms, text, taxonomies, and everything. Okay, um, so that we can add a register new field. So if we are like use, we already have this uh, post uh, uh, route. Okay, and we are already getting all the information regarding the uh, which is the default of the, uh, available in the WordPress code. But if we want to add any new field here, that we can uh, that we can add using the register. Uh, register new register rest field okay and it will accept some of the like arguments so you can go through it and it will be helpful for how this function is we need to use okay but all these practical things we can we can uh, like i can give i will give a walkthrough into the uh, another video okay um then this is the rest api init so this function will be executed okay uh, uh this function will execute when uh to add the rewrite rules okay and then add a query where okay so uh, so we will also see what are the rewrite rules will be added by the rest api and how the wordpress will identify that current request is the rest api request okay um uh, then uh, if you go through here same function here you can see here you can see that uh custom rewrite rules have been added so this is the rest get uh, url prefix so you, here this function will return 
wp hyphen json which is our rest api base uh, url prefix okay and if anything apart anything comes to uh, all the requests we have <clears throat> so here you can see um, this is our another endpoint which is like default to wp json so um, this route will be first route will be matched and second will have another uh, sub uh, and a route so here for example this wp slash v2 slash post okay so for this request um this uh, rewrite will be matched okay i will also give you a walkthrough about this one so for example here let me just uh, uh, print template uh, redirect so redirect function here we can uh, print a tag uh, get option so our rewrite rules uh, uh, saved into the options table right under the rewrite rules option okay and uh, semicolon so if we go here and if i just go to the front end okay so now you can see this wp json all right so these four uh, rewrite rules have been added so wp json okay which is our base route and the wp json which will be matched for our uh, other another routes like the wp slash v2 slash post or any other end uh, routes references okay and this is if uh, someone is accessing through the index.php slash okay so this uh, uh rewrite inputs have been used uh rewrite tools used okay let me just comment it out here okay and um yeah then there are some filters added okay so and they use the defined condition the race request will be this constant will be defined when wordpress identify this is the race API request uh, before performing the race API request it will set this constant and this constant we can use if you want to um, you know if you want to just perform some things uh, if it's a race request else we don't want to perform anything so in that case we can use this race request so like based if it's a race request then only add these actions and that call, register callback functions required callback functions right so we, um, this constant will be very helpful and uh, uh, this is the create initial rest uh, initial rest route so this function uh, will register default rest api endpoints all the rest api endpoints which you can see uh, into the, this endpoint references okay all these uh, endpoints references you can see here routes that all have been uh, registered through this uh, uh, function okay so it will just get the list of the uh, post types using the get post types and uh, and they will only will get which are which post type registered with the uh, show in race argument uh, and its value set true okay and then they will call the controller class so here in the movie library uh, uh, post type we have seen that uh, we have used this wp rest post controller which is the wordpress code uh, rest api default or uh, post controller and that controller we have used okay so here uh, that controller will get using this function uh, rest controller function okay and it will simply just pass this race controller class which is the property we have defined it here passed it here okay so um so here and then it will just call the register routes method so this is the register routes method and this is the default wp race controller okay but uh, and this is the base class okay uh, and this class will be extended by the other controllers so for example all the controllers uh, and other informations you can see into the uh, rest api uh here in the let me just collapse this one here in the in the endpoints okay and then you can see the race control the uh, main uh, base controller and here you can see the post controller this class okay and uh, this is the post controller uh, which will be used to register the routes and manage their callback functions and to serve the race api request uh, using this uh, controller okay so this method register race routes method you can see it here this method okay this method override from the base controller and this uh, controller will call the register race route um, function okay and here you can see the namespace so here uh, you can see the namespace here the race namespace and the wp v2 okay uh, so if the uh, if the namespace not passed um, then it will take a wp v2 okay and um, you can uh, then the rest base uh, what whatever the rest base is here so here the rest base would be 
our uh, movie in the movie uh, like sorry for the custom post type we are passing the rest base here which is the field and this base will be used and that's why um, when we check here so uh, here if we pass a field then it's uh, it's working right so so this rest base will be used to register the uh, routes okay and uh, and for default it's a default object name which is the, our uh, post type slug okay um then they register the base routes and then in the array you can pass the various endpoints these are the endpoints because we on the same route we have multiple endpoints for different methods for readable which is will be a get okay so the wp race server the wp race server is the main uh, class which will uh, accept the rest api request called uh, that uh, identify that rest api request called that uh, like function and and then responds to uh, output okay um then uh don't worry about this we will go through this uh, all these functions and the arguments when we learn about uh, registering the custom endpoints okay and we will also see how this uh, sequence in the sequence how the wordpress identify the which is like the, this is the rest api request and then which functions call will be called and where this wp race server class will be in the picture and the wp uh, race request wp race response and all these controllers okay um so yeah so and and they use the createable so which is our post method okay and this method will be used to create an item so this rate uh, route will have two endpoints which is a get endpoint and the post endpoint okay for reading the items and then creating the post okay and similarly there will be another other um routes will be introduced uh, uh, registered for single uh, post for to to perform single uh, to read the single post to update the single post or to delete it and all these constants will be set it here for a readable it's a get creatable for a post then editable will have this method post put and patch so any any of this uh, method can be used when the user or the developer sending the rest api request okay and for delete this will be a delete okay and these are the all the methods supported by the rest api request http methods okay so yeah so this way all the race routes will be uh, registered and similarly uh, they will register for revisions if that uh, post type uh, supports the revisions okay and then the attachments um, and then for a custom post types controller as well if you want to see what are the default uh, types are available so if we go here here ip5 call types um, then you can see the post is the default type um, then pages which is also wordpress code default post type then the attachment right and then their their own uh, like links uh, the rest api links right um then name menu item is also post type so you can see all the custom post types uh, post default and custom post types available here okay and you can also see our custom post types called movie and the person okay and similarly for taxonomies as well so here you can see the taxonomies as well so if we go here and if i pass the taxonomies okay so category post tag new menu uh, then the genre text uh, taxonomy career taxonomy right so you can we can also have a list of the uh, uh, custom post types and custom taxonomies right and similarly we also have a controller for a custom post statuses right so that you can also go through and then for terms we can have all similarly we have our different endpoint like routes independent routes for the custom post type similarly we do wordpress also register a routes for the um, custom taxonomies right and similarly we are using um, we are using the like uh, in the taxonomy career we are using the wp race terms controller okay and that controller will register our routes okay let me just close all this uh, to avoid anything okay and uh, and they register our routes here okay and all that controller you can find into the rest api folder in the endpoints you can find the terms controller here this is the terms controller okay which is used for the custom taxonomy and here is the register routes method and similar to the our uh, posts or the custom post types it will register the methods to, to, to perform the CRUD operations okay 
um yeah and they also register uh, register the routes for the users for application password for comments and everything all things will be done from here and uh, there is this is the filter wp race search handler so you can if you want to change it then you can also change it like similarly i think we have changed for the uh, like we have changed the search uh, permalink uh, using the wp write class that and similarly in the uh, in the rest api endpoints you can also do that using this uh, search handlers okay um then the block and everything like plugins and themes sidebars widgets most of the other default core uh, routes you can find it uh, registered by the wordpress okay thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress